hi guys so if you're new to my video tutorials um welcome i do all my design stuff in photoshop but i like to use pixlr.com to teach how to do a few little graphic design things that way if you pick up on it here you can if you know how to use photoshop you can apply those techniques there i use this because it's free and it's much easier even for especially for new or beginning designers so let's jump right into it you come to pixlr.com you do not need to log in or sign up for anything you can use this right in your web browser browser this is not for the phone they used to have it on the phone but it was real janky and they recently updated not a few months ago maybe and now you cannot access this editor from your phone you can do the photo and I think they have one more but you cannot access this editor this particular photo editor so you when you come in you want to click advance and you want to create new and make sure it's on full HD and let's name this um, let's just name it 789 you can name it whatever you, you want whatever if you whatever you're working on and just below here is a create button so click that button okay you'll want to file an open an image if you got the image for me you may run into this um, box here and that's because I create my images super large so they will be super nice you won't have any issues with image quality so if you run into this you can hit original Hit apply okay with this here leave that leave that layer locked and let's click here over here to the right and add a empty layer on that empty layer you want to do a name so click the text box and click add text and let's just do I'm going to do my name and I already have um, a font that I'm going to use in here I have other videos posted showing you how to add fonts and stuff so this is showing, this is, video is just showing you how to use this here um, template so up here I'm going to change that to black so you can see and I'm going to increase the size so now I have to slide the box back out. Okay, so control that. To, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this with the free version. This pops up down here. You can get the paid version. I don't opt for that because I'm re I really don't use this like that. So well, I do use it. I use it a lot, <laughs> but I I, I want to get a new um, screen record because. This one is okay, but I want to do some more stuff. So anyway, you can turn this how you want and still increase your size up here. You could even turn, if you unlock the um, graphic layer, you can even turn that. So if you want the hearts to be further up here and this to be more straight, you can do that as well. I'm just going, I'm just showing you how to use it, how I made it okay you can put the name over if you want everything is up to you guys okay I think I'll go with that that there okay with that done let's go up to adjust um no layer and we want to raster that layer
Okay, after you raster that layer, then you want to make sure it's selected and you want to make a duplicate of that layer. So go up to layer and click duplicate. Now on the duplicate, on, on this, the main layer, because it put it behind and put the duplicate on top. And that's fine. Just click on the um, second layer in your panel and you will want to come up to filter and you want details and you want to hit blur. And we're going to blur that text as much as you want or as less as you want. And I'm going to hit apply. So let's turn it off so you can see it done that. So if you like that, you can leave it. Or if you want to go a little bit further, you can go back in and hit. Actually, let's step back. Let's don't do blur. I meant to do Gaussian blur. That was my oversight. So go up to, uh, make sure you're on that second layer. Go up to filter details and now let's do Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur gives it a, a wider blur fan if you, if you can understand that. It just blurs it more. Than the regular blur. Let's see, did it apply that? Let's add some more blur. Details. Come on. Gaussian blur. Add as much as you want, as little as you want, as many times as you want. So just keep keep doing it until you get the effect that you want. Let's cut this one on. Hold on, it's not giving me what I'm needing. Hold on one second. Okay, so in here, the Gaussian blur did give me blur, but the regular blur tool, surprisingly, is giving me the bigger fan. Blur fan, I'll call it. So let me try that. If you if you watch here around the edges of the letter, you'll see the blur fan, is what I'm talking about. So let me apply that and let me do it again so I can see for myself because we're all learning together. Yeah, so it's, it's giving something. So you can leave it like that or you can, if you want to make that fan more visible, then you can layer and make sure you're on that second layer. You can select layer at the top and hit duplicate. And see, so it's giving more. And if that is too much, then you can tone back the opacity of this layer just by going here. But see, it does this little squaring thing here. So you might want not, might you maybe not, you might not want to do too many blurs. So let's. Let's try that again. So we didn't blur the top layer. So let's just cut this layer off. Oh, did I blur both? No, I duplicate. I did the duplicate. So let's cut this one off and this one off and we're back to the main layer. So let's make a duplicate of that. Go to the next layer and let's do, let's try regular blur this time since it gives the fan. Okay, yeah, so in here for the word, words where you're just going to do, not going to do multiple layers like I showed on the other template um, videos, how to use the template video to do an um, airbrush effect. So if you're just doing one um, layer of, of a name, then you might just want to use the regular blur because it gives a better blur fan. So apply that. And if you like that, you can leave it there. And again, if you want it a little bit more prominent, then you can just 
do a duplicate of that layer and if that's too strong then you come over here and click those three dots beside it and then you just tone back the transparency to something you like okay and that would be it for the name then you want to make a empty layer and choose your paintbrush here go up here and choose any of these pre-built stars pre-made stars that you want you click it it'll give you show you what it looks like there I'm gonna go with this I'm gonna leave it at that size because I can resize it if I don't like it so I'm gonna go up it was too small and then I'm just gonna click click there and then I want to bring that layer slide that layer to the top and if you click once so let me add another one empty layer so get my paintbrush again I was already on that star if you click once it looks like that if you, the more you click the the brighter or darker that star gets depending on the color you're using so I don't want to keep that I'm going to use something else you can also just hit um, layer and duplicate and then just move these around where you would like them duplicate you can also instead of making duplicates you can also stay on this layer and just click your brush and just click wherever you want them but doing doing that way you you would have to go up here and change the size if you want a different size star And if you like that flat look for the name, then that's all you need to do. And then you just go up to File, Save, and you save it as a PNG. If you want a, a beveled look to your name, then make sure you're on that top layer. Click Filter, go down to Bevel, and move it around the way you like. apply it and save that if that's what you want that is how you use this template I hope this helps guys make sure you when you when you do the bevel you if you um, say you did it and you just change your mind then you can step back and redo it but you would have to step back because if you go in and hit bevel again, it's going to add a bevel on top of the bevel. I hope this helps, guys. Thanks for watching. So I saved that as a PNG and then open it back up in here to show you why these would not be good for print and cut unless you're putting it on something something else that's going to go around it but this you just cannot print and cut this this out because of the gradients used it, it does not have a hard um, edge so there's nothing there to cut so let me show you for instance if you try to add a stroke to this or an outline to this it will give you this this is what you're going to get see on even on one it just doesn't show up to three so this is probably probably the cut you'll get if you try to do this for a printing cut so that is why these don't make good printing cut now you can use it for sublimation or um, water decals something like that but it's a no-go for um, print then cut any type of print then cut now let's let me add a empty layer so I can explain this also so I'm going to cut this off 
and I'm going to grab the marquee tool and I'm just going to make a ellipse tool I mean um selection and I'm going to can I fill it here no I'm going to have to color it in so I'm going to grab that brush and I'm going to choose the largest one I can get up here and then I'm just going to fill this in okay so let's say deselect let's turn this oh we can leave it white let's say we're going to use this as an earring okay let's pull this behind and let's cut this one back on so let's say we're going to use it as an earring if you um choose to use this as an earring remember the edges around this thing there's there's um image pieces there that you cannot see some will be like fine so you won't be able to see them so let's say I wanted to put this here in the center and you think okay well that's good guess what this is sticking out on the edge and probably some here as well so what you want to do is if you want it there if you if you want it there and you don't care about losing some of the image and you want it to feel as much as the earring as possible and let's say that's exactly where you want it let me make a duplicate of that layer duplicate cut that another thing if you make duplicates of the this image here it'll get darker I should have said that earlier too but either way it goes you see you're seeing it so if you want this here and you're fine with that earring or you'll say you want to add it and you want to fill it with another color maybe you want to put an accent color with it or however whatever you want to do you can do that it's up to you again it's your creation So let's say you wanted that and you're like, okay, I like that. I'll go with that. But you have this sticking out. What you'll need to do is click on this circle here. Click on the circle and then click select pixels. And once you do that, you want to go up to this image, your image, and you want to edit, copy, edit, paste. Um, let's see so you could do that and then slide it back where you want it if you want to slide it back over it or you can click here and select pixels select invert inverted selection and then hit delete oh make sure you get on the image and then hit delete control deselect now that is inside everything is inside of the circle even if you had some stuff over here outside that you could not see everything is inside the circle so if you do that and then select um player and you want to merge visible now when you go edit stroke You won't have any problems with a stroke around the image versus let me step back and show you control Z control Z control Z okay let's say you did that and say well I like I like it because I want the hearts to go over the side of that earring okay well let's let's leave it there and let's image endless or layer and merge visible control D to deselect unlock the layer over here and let's edit and let's add a stroke it's large that's why it's taking a while 
You see that? So when you create this and you think, oh, it's going to cut out the circle. I'm, I'm, it's going to go around the hearts just fine. It will not. You have to either make this image smaller so everything fits. You don't lose anything. And you're still going to have to select invert and then delete to make sure there's nothing around this edge poking out past this circle. See with this um, perfect example here, look. If you can see right here, there's a white dot that's with this image. There's a white dot here. So you will need to select the circle, invert, and then delete. Every, then click back on the image and delete everything that's in the inverted selection. Because you'll get this craziness here. I hope this helps.